Hello, everyone. So we are in a little bit of an odd place as I want to take a quick aside and give a quick demonstration of what I'm talking about, about you being able to use Mathematica in order to solve a, uh, a Huckle problem. So the uh, predominant portion of trying to solve Huckle theory is about uh, setting up the matrices. So this is the matrices we already generated in class. Uh, where we have the diagonal elements representing the uh, 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 representing our Coulomb integrals and the B elements representing our uh, resonance integrals. Now it is possible to go ahead and have a system where we have multiple different beta elements or uh, Coulomb integrals by putting in the direct values. Now, if I try and solve this problem uh, directly, it turns out that uh, uh, Mathematica gets a little bit creative. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a quick representative set of values where we start with a value of negative uh, 30 EV for our alpha value and a value of negative 1 for our beta value. So then when we go ahead and do this, I have a set matrices that I can go ahead and solve. So eigenvalues, when I apply it to my matrices, gives me four values. So these are my four orbital energies in electron volts. And that's simply all we get, all we need for determining our orbital energies. Now, uh, one of the tricks is uh, finding the correct eigenvector or molecular orbital that accompanies each of the eigenvalues. And for this, we actually get lucky that they are listed in order. And we tend to list the eigenvalues from lowest energy to highest. So our lowest MO is exactly the one we found in class, where we have uh, uh, all four of our orbitals in phase with a lesser proportion of the um, A and D orbital and a greater proportion of the B and C. Then we have our second MO where we have a single node and we have A and B in phase and C and D in phase, and then the more alternating forms of our third and fourth MO. So this is a very quick way as I, in the grand total of less than a minute, solved the problem that took us about 30 minutes to uh, figure out in class. So we can, uh, with this strategy in your back pocket, if you ever need to solve a Huckle problem, once you're able to solve the mat matrix, you can, with two simple lines, get out all of your orbital energies and their corresponding structure in terms of how much of each of the atomic orbitals they're made from. So hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and take care and stay healthy.